Welcome to our 60 minute total body strength and core workout. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today you need a pair of medium dumbbells and a single very light dumbbell. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell to receive all of our notifications. Let's get started with the warm up. We have football shuffles. So today's workout is all about strength training, but still, it's a HIT workout. The only cardio we're doing today is in the warm up. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Getting down, mountain climbers. Bring those knees to your chin. seconds. And stand up, butt kick. Gain the heels to the glutes. Warming up the quads. Football shuffle. Getting down, mountain climbers. Gain those heels to the glutes. Fifteen seconds, and then we'll do this one more time. Ten seconds. Football shuffle. seconds. And getting down, mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one. Warm up is over. Get some water. We're now going into circuit one. 
We'll have two sets timed and then a two set challenge. We're starting with squats. Suitcase hold, heel lift at the bottom. We squat down, heel lift at the bottom. Hips back. Sitting back into the squat versus hinging. Time. Put one dumbbell down. We're gonna squat on the right side. Step out squat. Single leg balance. If you can't do the single leg balance, just come to a tap. And Time, switch to the other side. Squat down, it's not a lateral lunge, it's a side squat. And time push up with a very light dumbbell raise. So we're gonna do half on one side, half on the other. So we're gonna push up, raise the dumbbell in front. Push up, I'm just using a five pound dumbbell. Really light, keeping my hips as parallel with the ground as possible. Getting that front raise in, single arm plank, and switch sides. Push up, single arm raise. Time. Let's do a second set timed, and then again, we'll have a two set challenge. Squat down, heel lift at the bottom. And time, side squat with a single leg raise, or you can do a single leg tap. But if you can, squeeze the glutes, get it up. And switch sides. And time. Push ups with that front single arm raise, starting on the right side. Switch sides. Okay, now it is time for a two set challenge. You're gonna do either the reps I tell you or as many as possible during the time allowed. Squat with a heel lift, 15 repetitions. Now, if you can only do 13, that's great. 
or let's say you can do 16. This is not a competition against me. It's a competition with yourself, pushing yourself to the most intense level that's still safe for you. Remember, lift those heels at the bottom. I'm at 10, I have five more. And last one. Side squat, 10 per side to a leg raise. 10 of these on each side. Get down that squat. And that's 10 on the right, now 10 on the left. Nice job. Push-ups with that front raise, five per side. And then we start again. One. That's five. I'm switching sides. Five. Let's do it again. One more time. 15 squats with a heel lift. And I have five more. And one, 10 side squats to a single leg raise per side. Squeeze those glutes. And switching sides. Done. Five push ups with that front arm raise per side. Switching sides. Five. Done with circuit one, get some water. Next up we go to a pyramid. We'll do 10 repetitions of everything. but we start only with exercise one, which is gonna be a modified burpee. Okay, so we're gonna squat down, plank, back to squat, stand, no jumping. 10 of these.
done. So we've done one set of exercise one. Now we'll do one set of exercise one and exercise two. 10 burpees, modified burpees. Let's go. That's 10. We're gonna take a single dumbbell. We have a dumbbell press up with an alternating forward lunge. 10 of these, forward lunge, press up. Forward lunge, press up, that's two. Now we complete one set of exercise one, two, and three. 10 burpees. Okay, alternating forward lunges with that press up. 10. And last one, exercise three, 10 snatches per arm. So we're gonna squat down, we're gonna roll it up like a zipper, palm facing you, and then away from you, 10 total. You can add a little jump if you want. And Switch to the left after 10 reps on the right. And time, or done with the reps. So now we're halfway through the pyramid. We're gonna start again with just exercise three. 10 snatches per arm. Okay, I'm switching sides. 10 on the left. We're gonna do, and I keep saying time, but it's reps. Exercise three, exercise two. So 10 alternating, or 10 snatches on the right, 10 on the left, and then 10 alternating forward lunges with a press up. Let's go.
and 10 alternating forward lunges with a press up. And one more time, exercises three, two, and one. Okay, I'm switching. alternating forward lunges with the press up, 10 modified burpees, and then we're done with circuit two. And 10 modified burpees. Nice job. Done with circuit two. We're now moving to circuit three. Two sets together and then a two set challenge. So you can either do suitcase hold or up by your shoulders or just a single dumbbell. So we're gonna start off in a sumo squat. We're gonna sumo squat and then turn it a 45 degree angle. Then sumo squat, turn a 45 degree angle, opposite side. Sumo squat, 45 degree angle. There you go. And bicep curl, reverse press up. Making sure that you have that pelvic tilt, really engaging the core, protecting the lower back. And getting down for a dead bug with an alternating chest press. Make sure I don't sit on my mic. That'd be bad. Okay, so we're lying on the ground. Back is firmly planted into the floor. You can have your head either slightly elevated or all the way down. And then we're gonna have our core contracted, knees in a tabletop position. We're gonna extend our left leg as we raise up our right into a chest press. Then opposite arm, opposite leg. Focusing on pulling from opposite sides simultaneously. Four, three, two, and one. Back again. Sumo squats turning to a 45 degree angle. This is our last time that we do this together. Then we'll do a two set challenge.
Okay, bicep curl, reverse press up. Okay, getting down, dead bug position, tabletop with the legs, opposite arm extends up as the leg extends out. It's important that it's the opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, now we're gonna do 10 of the sumo squats with a 45 degree angle. Every time you sumo squat and turn 45 degrees, that's one rep. So it goes, that's one. 10 of these, that's two. That's three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bicep curl, reverse press up, ten. And dead bugs, 20 total. And then we start again. So that's one, two, three, four. You've got it. I'm at 10. Burning my arms, feeling my triceps, my chest, my shoulders. And time, one more time for all three exercises. Sumo squat to a 45 degree angle. 10 of these. Thinking about all the things we did tonight. What a time to be alive. Just you and I. Just you and I. That's four. Bicep curls, reverse press up. And 10. 20 dead bugs, and then get some water.
I'm at 10. and 20. Okay, we are done. Whew, with circuit three, get some water. Moving on to a pyramid in circuit four. We are starting with 10 surrenders. You can do this either with a dumbbell, no dumbbells. I'm not for no dumbbells. So I'm gonna do five on my right leg, five on my left. Down, down, up, up. Or just alternate between the two, whichever you want, but I want it to be equal on each leg. 10 total. And it's five. Eight. Ten. Okay, so we just did exercise one. Now we're gonna go to exercise one, exercise two. Surrenders, 10 total. And again, you can hold a dumbbell here. No dumbbells. You can alternate legs. You can do five on one leg, five on the other. Okay, clean to press ups. So I'm gonna just slightly hinge, clean, press up. 10 of these. Hinge, clean, press up. You can also put a little jump in there if you want. You can use a barbell. Four. This is eight. And 10. Nice job. So now we're gonna do exercises one, two, and three. Surrender. That's eight, nine, 10. Clean to press ups, 10. This is eight. And 10. Okay, so we're going down. We're just gonna do 10 repetitions, the right side. We're gonna do 10 renegade rows with a push up. So we go right side row, push up, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've now done a set of exercises one, two, and three. We're just going to do exercise three now. We're going to switch over to the left side. 
10 renegade rows with a push up. Left side only. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So now it's time for exercises three and two. We're gonna go back to the right side, renegade rows with the push-up, and then clean and press up. So 10 renegade rows with the push-up on the right side. That's five. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, we're going back to that clean and press up because this is exercise two. That's five. And 10. All right, last set. Exercise three, exercise two, exercise one. So left side row push up. Row. 10 total. That's five. Eight. And 10. Okay, clean the press ups. 10. Six. Four. And one. Surrenders. Here we go. And 10, we are done. Oh, moving on to circuit five. We're gonna take both dumbbells, suitcase hold. We take our right leg in front. So right leg, split squat. So we're advancing our knee over our toe. Back leg is as straight as possible. The goal here is, to really focus on using the anterior muscle group to propel that leg over the toe. It's not to lean, you don't wanna to lean too much into it. You want the front anterior lower body muscle group to do all the work. And switch, left leg. The reason being is we are really trying to build up the muscles around the knee support the knee, create a fortress for the knee to avoid future injury.
Okay, next we have a two part back exercise. So we're gonna hinge slightly at the hips. We're gonna reverse fly, then pull it back, row, palms up. That's one repetition. Because as you recall, all of these circuits have two sets and then a two set challenge. So every time you do a row, a reverse fly in a row, that's one repetition. And done. Final exercise in circuit five is commandos. We're in plank position, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. There we go. Try and keep the hips parallel with the ground as much as possible. Okay, second set, timed right leg split squats. So this time I'll face forward. Right knee advances over the right toe, shoulders back, chest out. Almost there. And switch. So next time we do this, 10 repetitions per leg. A sense of threat that I can forget. I wanna know who you are. This is what I need to know. Almost there. Okay. Reverse fly to row. Hinge slightly at the hips. Reverse fly. Row. Every time you do the fly in the row, that's one repetition. The number will be 10 as well. And high plank commandos. So in a plank position, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. That would be one. You do 10 of these as well. For a two set challenge. 10 of everything. 10 right leg split squats. Here we go. And switch. Reverse flies to a row. One, one, two, two. You've got it. And 10. 
10, plank commandos. Nice job. Let's do it one more time. 10 of everything. 10 right leg split squats. Ten on the left. Ten. Reverse flies to a row. and then we are done with circuit five. Whew. Done. Get some water, towel off, moving on to circuit six, which is a pyramid. We have exercise one, 10, alternating reverse lunges with a chest press. Let's go. Reverse lunge, chest press. Two, 10 of these. Six. Eight. And 10, nice job. Now we'll do exercise one and exercise two. Whew. Okay, reverse lunges with the chest press. gonna get the lower abs, take the knees in, extend them out, your back is flat on the floor, contract that core, head either on the ground or slightly elevated, extend out, pushing that back into the ground. You can opt to put a light dumbbell in between your knees, or not. Ten of these total. You should feel this in your lower abs. And that's ten. All right, let's go back again. Ten reverse lunges with that chest press. Nice. 
hand. Now we're gonna get the lower abs. Now I highly recommend doing a couple of reps without the weight. And then once you feel like you've really engaged your core, you can add the weight in between your knees. 10 total. Nice job. Exercise three. Narrow squat with an upright row. So we're gonna take our feet, so they're just about like a fist apart. We're gonna squat down, upright row, 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. We are halfway through this pyramid. Now we're gonna start again with the narrow squat in the upright row, just exercise three. Really feeling this in your glutes and your shoulders. In total. That's five. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, now let's do exercise three and exercise two. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Let's go down for those lower abs. As always, do one or two reps without the weight. Make sure that you're engaging your core, your back is firmly pressed into the ground, and then if you feel like everything is working as it should, add the weight for a little extra challenge. Couple more. And time. Okay. Last set. Three, two, and one. Narrow squats with an upright row. That's five. Eight. And 10. Lower abs. Actually, I forgot my own rule. Have a couple more. Then we have that alternating reverse lunge with that horizontal chest press, which will take us to the end of the pyramid. Let's go and then get some water. 10, eight, six, five, three, one. Whew. 
Pyramid is over. We're going to our final circuit of the day. It's a finisher. So we're gonna start off with 10 stationary lunges on the right, 10 on the left. This is circuit seven. Last circuit of the day. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Just a stationary lunge up and down. That's five. Seven. Eight. 10. Switching legs, 10 on the left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we're gonna do bear crawl push-ups. So we're in a bear crawl position. My knees are hovering over the ground, but they're not touching. 10 push-ups. Using our core, using our shoulders. Okay. Now we go down by two. It's a ladder. Eight all. And the goal is just to get to the bottom of the ladder before the workout ends. This is six, seven, eight. I'm switching legs. These ladder finishers are great ways to give you a great metabolic boost at the end of the workout. You can do this with so many different exercises. Okay, going down for those bear crawl push-ups. I'm gonna face you this time. Eight. Four, three, two, one. Okay, six all. I think we're gonna make it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides. Don't compromise form for speed. Equal parts, just intensity, but also form. Okay. And four all. Oh, we're getting close. And I'm switching. Okay, bear crawl push up. Four. Last exercises, last reps of the day. Two all, and then we're done. And two bear crawl push ups. That's it. Stop right there. What do you think you're doing? Stay tuned for our next video and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.